Hey Archer Fish Tank, today I want to talk about lights. It was my birthday and I got a new light for the tank. It's an LED Nicro, Nicru light. Um, we're going to install it and see how it works. I'm excited because, um, let me show you something about this. I, I got this light to do these YouTube videos and it does yellow and it does kind of a white blue color and it does in between also. There's yellow, there's in between, there's the blue color. I like the blue color light or the in between, but I noticed something when I was recording for Archer Fish Tank. If you look at the water, it looks really nice and clear. If I switch this to the blue color, all of a sudden I turn more white, but look at the water, it turns all yellow. And that's because I have yellow light shining down into the tank and uh, so I need to put this on the yellow filter so that it matches the lighting in the tank and everything looks normal like the way it should. So I'm hoping that these new LED lights make a difference in what uh, the video looks like. Uh, let's go back in the back and plug them in. Okay, here we are in the back room behind the fish tank and we can look down and see the fish down there. Uh, what I've been using for light are just, I had this, I had this one around the house, it was, it's just a work light and it's held up on this uh, metal screen. This was a heat lamp for the snake when it was in the tank and then I've been using it uh, just as just as regular light since Alta left. And we're gonna see if we can replace this front one. Okay, so here's the light strip. And uh, it has these adjustable uh, mounts so I can pull them out and push them in. I've put them so that they will fit just right on the tank. Um, here's all the LED uh, emitters. They can do two modes, it can do blue Nope, that's full. That's white and blue, and here's just blue. So you can use that to simulate like nighttime. We'll give that a try and see how it works. But what I wanna do is turn it all the way on, and then it's just going to fit right over the top, sideways, like so. And we have replaced one of those old lights with this new one now. Let's go out front and see how that looks. Okay, here's what it looks like with the new light. Um, I don't really like it. I, I don't like how white it is in the front. That looks great. But then in the back, it's really yellow. Like, you can see more than ever that that is a yellow light. So, I'm going to go turn it off and see what it looks like. Okay, that is so much better with that turned off. There's the light up there. It's just off now. But the whole... Uh, viewing area is light and bright and a nice white daylight color now. The only thing that I don't like is how dark it is back there in the back. So I think I've got something to fix that. Okay, so this is a little LED light strip. It's waterproof and can actually go underwater. And I'm going to try installing this so it lights up underneath the big rock, in the cave under the rock, and see how that looks. So there's the front of the tank all lit up really nice. Fish are swimming up there. As we come back here toward the back, the, this is all filled with water now, so the fish have access all the way back here in the back. And so I'm gonna just push this light down. There's some suction cup attachments. I'm going to push this down I want it to be, I want the rock to block you from seeing it, but I want to twist this so that it shines down and lights up the gravel under the rock. And it should light up everything under that rock and under that cave. I'll just turn that on. 
and it's definitely making light. Okay, I really like it. I had to adjust it a few times in order to get it so that you can't see it from here and you can't see it from underneath. I'm just going to, my daughter's back there waiting for the signal. She's going to flip the light on so you can see. There we go. Look at that. So with that light on, we can now see all the way to the back of the tank. And up here we can see underneath the rock. We can see the little waterfall. Let's see if I can focus that off of the glass. There we go. Looks really nice with the mist coming out from behind there. And the fish have full use of the tank front to back. Okay, so this blue nightlight is really cool. Look how good we can see the fish swimming. It looks like nighttime. And in the back, you can see the light under the rock is on, while the front light is blue and in night mode. With the new lights all set up, it wouldn't be right to end the video without showing a shot from Scott. And maybe Tim stealing the food. But don't they look great under those new lights? In an upcoming video, I'm working on getting the archers to shoot straight at the camera lens. Not quite there yet, but they are shooting at a shrimp close by. I love how Scott shoots it down. Tim tries to grab it, misses, and then Scott comes back around, grabs it, and then shakes it around like a dog shaking a stuffed animal. These new lights look fantastic. They should be really good for the plants too. Ever since we raised the water level up, the fish love going all the way to the back and swimming all the way to the front. And Archer Fish Tank looks better than ever. Hey, thanks for joining me today on Archer Fish Tank. These new lights look great. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go back to my channel and check them out. I've got videos of the archer fish jumping, of them shooting. Um, we've got videos of the rock waterfall being made, all kinds of stuff. Um, if you like, if you watch some of the other videos and you like them, make sure you subscribe so that you can find the videos in the future and be notified when new videos are posted. This is Archer Fish Tank. Reach outside your world.